there. He can just gravity field under his own yes. feet as well, which and presents a problem <laughs> for <laughs> Eve continually doing damage. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a tough game to get through for a Samsung. And maybe this is what we talked about earlier, Monty. Samsung does drop off as the series continues to run to gank on the bottom side. And he played cautiously when the caution is well-deserved, even though it's a nice pathing right there. Okay. Oh, and Baker gets into the duel and baits Crown in as Bengi comes up for the knockup. An easy first blood for Baker and Crown. I mean, he warded the top side himself and left himself completely vulnerable to the bottom side. He yeah, and now Ghost being used by Faker as he tries to run away. The hook not going to hit, and look at the ultimate coming in from Faker. It's going to be enough to take down Crown with the very last hit. Keeps it on Cassiopeia all throughout. Nice death sentence onto Wraith, and there's Ravio. He gets stunned right at the end of it. Faker just doing damage from afar. Bengi picks up that one. But the gravity field well placed, and that is 2-0-1 for Faker already. Kuve already used Onslaught of Shadows to start this duel. Marin low on mana, but Kuve, oh, dodges away from Bengi, but gets slowed by the Arcane Smash. Bengi looking for that knockup. Kuve just trying to draw as much time as possible and pressure Marin. I don't know where Kuve's going. Oh, he's waiting for E, but he's taking too much damage. Whoops. And now the game is completely deteriorating. There's just so many knockups that Eve has no control over in Italy. And this is Ghost as soon as he saw Wraith earlier come in to dodge well, a dredge line. Hello. And hello, Crown. There's the Chaos Storm. And Wolf just going to take the Petrifying Gaze for his teammates. Faker doing enough damage. As Faker shows up. He wants to pick up this blue. Bring it closer back to him as it resets. And Marin gets hit by a spear, but really not that much damage coming for Eve. Eve actually takes a huge chunk, but Onslaught of Shadows will secure the kill for Kuve. Meanwhile, we do have Bengi getting caught by the dredge line as Fury is left all alone. A nice death ray as he just walks out casually by Faker. Incredibly far ahead. Yeah, I mean, that really is the other big Hi, difference. Uh-oh, Marin comes up with home guards, and Eve is caught behind. Marin saw how much damage he did to this Nidalee before. The Sap only not going to hit at the end. Oh, he can't get his ultimate popped onto Eve as Bengi shows up. The Death Dress goes in. <laughs> ah, the Righteous Glory from Marin going forward to pick up the kill, and Faker shows up to get the last hit onto Kuve. Wraith has now been exhausted in Gravity Field, and Bengi picks up another kill. There's just a kill parade now for SKT. Doesn't want to get into a full-blown trade here, especially with more minions on Marin's side. It's a testament to how far Marin is ahead that he doesn't have... Whoa! Oh, hello, Eve! And goodbye. And thanks for the red buff. Go for the inhibitor turret that they actually have a little bit of damage on, or just right in the mid lane. Yeah, bang, yeah, bang. Whoa, the flashback from Crown. He knows he needs to make something happen. The Death Charge comes in, but no damage on the figure. Spear does land, but look at the Death Ray and the Chaos Storm. Crown's just gonna go down. He wanted just one more Twin Fangs. Oh, wow, a nice Lantern combo, and there's a shutdown coming for Kube. Baker following a little too eagerly as Wolf led the way for another kill. There's the poke coming back, and can Fury escape the death sentence? He will for now, but Marin's here to help block this javelin so that SKT can take it and never deter it. Wow. Well, that was pretty bold by Wolf and Faker. Wolf actually lantern flashed to yeah. get Faker back <laughs> into that fight, which unfortunately ended up in him getting exploded by Kuve. <laughs> So, try to style a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Wolf thought his play would be enough CC for Faker and just be content with that one kill onto Faker. <laughs> like, All right, we got him, boys. Oh, look at this flank from Wraith, and it's not going to amount to anything. In fact, he's just going to get denied his escape. Marin just standing there, and Faker just wait, biding his time, looking to see when he can get a pentakill. He's going to get one kill with a death ray. Trisha Barrage going right through for a field goal. Crown has to run away. Fury and Eve both at full health, but what can you do with the Baron buff here from SKT? Figure's damage is disgusting right now. That one death ray just <laughs> obliterated <laughs> Rave. Oh, and there's the loot and Zeko popping. Oh, oh my, my goodness! The death ray and the Chaos Storm alone. 100 to 0 on Eve at the very end. I don't even think the Chaos Storm hit him, did it? I, I think it was maybe just not. a Death Ray and the Luden's Echo. Yeah, it did seem to be right outside of range, and his health bar disappeared in one go. It turned all red at once. Crown getting Death Sentence, and then there's the slow. He'll, oh, he gets dropped back by the Gravity Field, and 
Faker just doing so much damage, hunting for kills alongside Bang. Bangy knocking up two people, double kill for Bang as Rain escapes to his fountain. And that's going to be a quick one in favor of SKT. 16 to 2 kill score, and SKT locks up the match 2 to 1. Wow. Well, Faker ends a 24 minute game 9 1 and 4 after having Bengi camp for him. And that's the advantage of having Faker on your team. You get a little bit of head, and he can absolutely take over multiple just solo tower pushes on Victor, no one able to do much of anything.